Welcome to Savunma Turkey YouTube channel. On January 20, 2024, three serial production contracts were signed between the Secretariat of Defense Industries and Rocketson for the needs of the Turkish naval forces. With the serial production contract signed, mass production of a Kia Next Generation Heavyweight Torpedo, Atmegia Anti-Ship Missile and Sapin Air Defense Missiles, which is the naval version of Hizar Air Defense Missile, have been started. So, what is serial production and what does it mean to start mass production? Let's examine this first. Defense products are generally designed to meet the needs of the armed forces or law enforcement. Not every design goes into production immediately. Generally, sample products called prototypes are produced. Various tests are applied to determine whether prototypes meet the design requirements determined by the armed forces. If the test results are negative, improvements are made to the design and prototypes. When it is decided that the prototypes fully meet the design requirements, the design is frozen. The frozen design is the final design, and serial production is started based on the final design. In short, the defense product is now ready for fielding by the armed forces or law enforcement. Let's explain the prototype concept with an example. A total of 17 prototypes were produced during the development process of the Leopard 2 tanks produced by Germany. After many tests were carried out on these prototype Leopard tanks, such as driving, shooting, durability, armor tests that protect the tank against mines and anti-tank weapons, Serial production of Leopard tanks was started, and so far more than 3,600 tanks have been produced, including all the upgrades. In the development process of the Turkish Akia torpedo, for which the serial production contract was signed on January 20, 2024, a process similar to the Leopard 2 tank development process was experienced by Rocketson. In other words, Rocketson produced the prototypes of the torpedo, subjected the prototypes to a wide variety of tests and trials, further developed the torpedoes according to the test and trial results, and finally demonstrated its effect on the target by conducting the warhead test on December 27, 2023. As a result of these tests, it was decided that the torpedo was now suitable for use in submarines, and serial production was commenced. Today, a total of 12 countries in the world, such as the USA, England, Germany, Russia, China, France, and Japan, can produce heavy-class torpedoes. Turkey has become one of these countries with the development and production of Akia torpedoes. However, Turkey and Rocketsan's success in developing and producing the Akia heavy-class torpedo is a development that cannot be summarized superficially with the sentence that Turkey can now produce torpedoes that only 12 countries in the world can produce. In this video, we will examine what kind of real meaningful gains Turkey has actually achieved by becoming one of the heavy class torpedo producers. We can sum the gains achieved by Turkey and Turkish submarines with their heavy class torpedo production capability under six main headings. Now let's examine these achievements one by one. The real power of submarines is their stealth. Where a submarine is and what it is doing when diving underwater is a big question mark. The uncertainty makes submarines a feared naval combat vehicle. Torpedoes supplied from the USA, England, and Germany are currently active in the submarines of the Turkish Navy. In other words, the countries that use the same torpedoes, as well as the manufacturers USA, England, and Germany, clearly know the features of this torpedo and what it can do and can not. One can say that Turkish submarines can operate secretly underwater, but their engagement capabilities are well known. The new Turkish Akia heavy torpedo will provide Turkish submarines with an engagement capability unknown to everyone. In the future, when the Turkish National Submarine Milden project and the STM-500 mini submarine platform projects are implemented, this confidentiality will be fully ensured. As we have just stated, heavy class torpedoes are produced by very few countries. The torpedoes of all these producing countries are not suitable for Turkish submarines due to different system compatibility, doctrine and standards. This mismatch causes the number of supply addresses to actually be less than the fingers of one hand. When there are so few manufacturers, it is naturally inevitable that the torpedo supply cost will be very high. In this respect, a Kia heavy torpedo production means providing reasonably priced torpedoes for Turkey and saving the money. Although torpedoes are expensive weapon systems, 
they are procured no matter what to make the country's defense as strong as possible. However, even though full money will be given at this point, the producing countries avoid selling torpedoes in the quantity demanded by the purchasing countries and seem to allow supplies in limited numbers. It seems that having a very large budget cannot always guarantee the purchase of a sufficient number of torpedoes. In this respect, a Kia heavy torpedo production means that Turkey can supply as many torpedoes as it needs and in the number it wants, and that the mission readiness and mission continuity rates of its submarines it owns will be high. As we have stated before, torpedoes supplied from the USA, England, and Germany are used in the submarines of the Turkish Navy today. These torpedoes are designed according to the needs determined by the designers and submariners of the producing countries. During the development of these torpedoes, the characteristics of Turkish waters were not taken into account, nor did Turkish submariners make any contribution to the designs. However, the seas in which Turkish submarines will operate have characteristics that require the adaptation of existing torpedoes to Turkish seas. In other words, the torpedo requirements of Turkish submarines in the Black Sea missions and the torpedo requirements in the Mediterranean Sea may be different from each other. It does not seem possible for a standard torpedo developed in Baltic or Atlantic waters to respond to all of these. However, during the development of the Akia torpedo, Turkish engineers and submariners worked together, and a torpedo suitable for Turkish seas was developed. When comparing the Akia torpedo with the torpedoes supplied from abroad, it is actually very easy to state which one is suitable for Turkey's needs. Akia torpedo, in which Turkish submariners were involved in its design, planning, and development, is 100% more suitable for Turkey's conditions. Akia heavy torpedo production means that Turkey produces local torpedoes suitable for its own unique needs. Rocketson started the development work on the Akia torpedo in 2009 and made it ready for mass production in 2023. The development process, which started from scratch, took a total of 14 years. Since Akia was the first heavy torpedo produced in the country, its development process was inevitably long. Today, including a Selsun's or Ka torpedo development studies, it can be commented that Turkey has modern torpedo production technology that will enable the development of the next torpedoes in a much shorter time. It will not take another 14 years for Rocketson to make future improvements and developments on the Akia torpedo or to design a more advanced Akia II torpedo. Finally, the gains that Turkey has achieved with the Akia heavy torpedo, that is, being freed from a limited number of manufacturers and their unexpected conditions, being freed from the obligation to pay high prices, being able to acquire the most technologically suitable torpedo for its needs, and being able to procure it in quantities that can meet all operational needs, are equally important and valid for friendly and allied countries as well. It is clear that countries do not expose to undesired conditions when making defense deals with Turkey. Being able to procure heavy class torpedoes from Turkey will provide relief for many countries in this sense. Therefore, it would not be surprising to see defense deals including IKEA torpedoes with some countries such as Pakistan, Malaysia, Bangladesh and Indonesia in the future. Our video in which we examine the new Turkish IKEA Next Generation Heavyweight Torpedo, ends here. You can write your opinions and suggestions about our video in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please leave a like, it really helps our channel. If you want to continue receiving videos on defense issues, you can subscribe. See you in the next video of the Savunma Turkey channel. Goodbye.